will discuss about the sap upgrades this is the activity so we have to discuss so then security part also is there but let's start discussing about the sap sum tool sap upgrade sap upgrade using sum tool sap upgrade using the sum tool here this is the one of the so tool normally every day every everyone is, will ask uh, this uh, regarding this one only so some tool some is the software upgrade manager tool how we will use the swpm tool same way we have to use the sum tool for doing the upgrades support pack upgrade esp upgrades migrations and conversions so we can use the any other activities we can use the this upgrade tool here some upgrade tool so for for preparation for the sum upgrade tool is so the main thing is here we need to so calculate the we need to calculate the stack configuration file stack the configuration file we have to so download stack configuration file we have to download it here we have to calculate it from so we have to calculate the stack configuration file from the service marketplace here me.sap.com so for this one for this one our system status our system components are in your sap system whatever the components are there with their version should be up to date in the service market so system status components are system status components are up to date system status components are system status components are up to date up to date means same it should be up to date here system status component in the service marketplace components and system status components are up to date here system status components are up to date in so service marketplace maintenance planner then there is a explore systems there is a explore system it should be up to date so it should be up to date here once that is done so then we can generate the stack configuration file so normally in case of solution manager system is there so automatically the your system share the components are up to date here so in case in case in case system is not up to date system is not up to date not up to date component version in this case what we have to do so either so we need to push the we need to push the we need to we need to send the system data system data from rz70 rz70 to so solman sld we have to send it from there your lmdb jobs will pick up will send to the service marketplace and the maintenance planner then explore systems explore systems it will send it out normally in case of your system components are not up to date it is up to date always it will be up to date why because always the our system data will connect to the sld sld to lmdb lmdb to then so service marketplace maintenance memory it will push the data here lmdb will push the data so in case of in case of we don't have this one what we have to do so as a plan of action b we need to send the data from address rz70 to allman sld so in case of we don't have this one so in case of we don't have solution manager so what we have to do so manually so these are the questions they may ask you right manually so we need to manually we need to download manually we need to download the so manually we need to download manually we have to download the so sysinfo sysinfo.xml from saint transaction code saint transaction code sysinfo.xml we have to download it and upload into upload into so service marketplace maintenance planner systems upload into here right so in case of yes solution manager is there then we can send it by using this method in case of if you don't have the solution manager so manually we need to download the sysinfo.xml file to send 
and we need to upload into the service marketplace maintenance planner and explore systems this option we have to choose it here right so that is the one thing here we have to do it here right so this these things are very important why because to calculate the xml file stack xml file is the key file for the sum tool during the upgrades in case of if you are calculating this one so we need to so this is very important thing here this calculations file is very very important file here so in case of it is not up to date it's up to date or if not there so what we have to do now we know the steps here once you calculate this one the next one is called the so we can so we have to we have to do the some pre steps here we have to perform the some pre steps here so pre steps pre steps means so before running the pre steps here first of all upgrade means updating the our system components from one version to another version so why we are doing this upgrade means so to get the the existing bug fixes will be removed in the latest patches right new enhancements new features will come so any bug fixes any code changes corrections all will be recover all will be covered in the latest patches so if our software is up to date then we will get the latest functionalities we will not face any performance issues or anything here right so if your software is old version suppose if you are if you are using the old version of the your windows os right windows os suppose example in your laptop what will happen so then there is some slowness performance you will not get the latest functionality which is there in the windows 11 so you will not get all those things right so that is the reason so we need to take the respective actions here respective actions here right so that is the one thing here so then only our software up to date then we can uh, we can our system also up to date users also will get the new benefits new screens new features new enhancements new tabs the new styles everything they will get in the their front end pages they will get everything here right so if suppose example if you see the previous irctc the page is different now irctc page is different means now it's a tab the tabs based concept the multiple uh, options very speed because of when the sap introduced it everything got changed new ui functionalities everything got changed similar right so then that is the case that is separate as part of this one we need to update regularly update regularly means not daily yearly ones maybe some some customers like one and a half year once they will update normally yearly ones people will plan to update your sap software kernels also we will update it that's the voice level binaries then so uh, these are the, our common basis activities only here this is one of the high level activities in the sap side last activity so updating sap upgrade using the some tools here so here so once you download everything is done some of the pre steps like so we should not know we should know failed no failed update records in sm13 no failed update records in sm13 here right if you have anything we need to clear those things and also no failed entries in smq1 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 there are no failed entries that's actually for the mcex star queues especially mcex star queues for the ecc systems that is the very important option and also as part of the three steps here so no inactive objects in system no inactive objects so if you go to the se80 then check the inactive objects those things we need to check and also no inactive objects and also you should have enough space we should have enough space under usr sap sid maybe at least 30 50 gb space we required okay 50 gb so don't you shouldn't have to, should not we should have enough space paid here and also so any if any inconsistency items if any if any inconsistency items indexes or anything indexes indexes are indexes are indexes are 
or anything indexes or uh, suppose like any tables or any anything or temp tables so we need to if any in a, so we need to we need to so fix fix we need to fix those things here indexes are if, if the indexes are there index creations and those things we have to do it here then so calculate the xml file calculate the target patch level calculate the the target patch levels which patch level from which patch level to which patch level and push the all files to download basket download the basket push to everything to the download basket here push everything to the so download basket here you can push everything to the download basket in the download yeah. basket push it out and uh, download all patches and uh, the cop move to application server level application server level we have to move all the patches to the application server level so these are the three steps we have to perform in the sum tool these are the three steps we have to perform in the sum tool here right so calculation of the xml file that we can do that one okay i will show you that one as well so here so otherwise in case of solution manager is not there then what we can do we can in case of solution manager is not there let me log in first Let me log in today, one of our system. Oh. What happened? Basis user is not getting someone did wrong client copy. I know Here, multiple times I'm informing to people. Someone did the long client copy on 23rd, all the clients. Yeah, see, someone wrongly performed the client copy from, so wrong client copy from target is the double zero one, source is the triple one. Shit. What will happen in the triple one, we have empty client, they have, my, they have moved to the double zero one, that is the empty client again all the data will be get deleted you can see deleted lines yeah multiple times i hey informing to uh, so people who still they are performing wrong client copies and everything Shit. then our only thing is we need to restrict the we need to restrict all those things here so okay what i will do in a double zero one client i will i will create a roles i will assign it so that they won't touch the so SCC4 or uh, SCC4 client card, that those things they won't touch. That is only one thing we can do. Now see all the data got uh, gone now. Everything. Now again, uh, because we created one common user. This user is with everybody. They will using this user. So now if they delete this user, uh, this user is got all deleted, then it will impact others as well. okay that's fine now okay so what we are going to do now in case of solution manager is not there manually we can go to the saint transaction code then we can just click the download the so download here in the utilities we will get the option like so it's not this so we can get the so download xml file option you will get it out here so using that option xml file we can generate it the next thing is in sm13 we should not have any failed update records here in sm13 we should not have any failed update records see these all are their failed update records we need to delete all those things here or you need to inform to the respective functional team here see these all are the failed update records only here 
right so these all are the update was cancelled interval is missing update was cancelled and everything here yeah. that's what happened in the systems right you can clean that one and also uh, in the smq1 so we should not have smq2 smq1 we should not have any field entries and everything that is also fine in se80 the repository object browser here we should not have any inactive objects inactive objects here so put the star here click on the enter so there should not have the any inactive object if there it will give you the object list here right this is also very important inactive objects otherwise what will happen during the upgrade time some is trying to activate those inactive object that object is required some note apply or something that time you cannot apply the notes in sap systems here that's why so we need to carefully check this inactive objects as well okay that is the one thing here so the next thing is like once everything is done so three steps are downloading the patches and everything we can perform it in the system so now let i will show you how to generate the xml file how to generate the xml file in the so here so in that case let me so once we calculate the xml file then all the files we have to download it then we need to perform the all the pre steps here update records just to clear it out inactive object check it out and space we have already then any inconsistency items in the dba cockpit or anything then we need to fix it out then calculate download the all the patches move to the application server level so this one i will download it this one we have to download it all the patches this will take time so that we can download it in the marketplace only we can download it all those things using the download manager here okay that we can download it so this is the three steps for doing the upgrade activities here so once the three steps are done so once the three steps are done we can start the sum tool so there is a some starting procedure is different here some start procedures are different here what we can do here we can go to we can go to the uh, uh, our uh, uh, sap level then we can start the sum tool here so let's go to uh, our KP online one with the SID ADM user. Let's see whether any files are exist or not. Suppose like NW1, NW1 ADM. So then just want to check are there any files exist or not here? Some files in this operating system so usr sap sid under sid we have the sum tile but we don't have any sum tool here so here also sum tool is not there so we need to download this patches so we have to download it we have to start the sum tool and we need to proceed with the other steps and everything here that's what we have to do it here so what i will do so in the back end i will download uh, i will download all the patches then i will keep it ready okay so then when we start tomorrow then we can start the sum tool how to start the sum tool then how to proceed with the all the roadmap steps and everything so we can discuss that one okay so that is what we have to do it tomorrow so meanwhile so whatever the three steps are there here those are all the three steps so you can perform it whatever the three steps are there these are all the three steps you can perform it in the systems okay so whatever i discussed in the ecd and in the nw1 both the systems please perform the all the three steps whatever we have here so then tomorrow we directly we can execute the sum tool then we can proceed with the other steps with the upgrade. Okay. Is it clear, right? You need to perform the three steps, all the steps, whatever we discussed, you need to perform the all the steps. 